Today we're going to talk about fuel pumps and fuel systems on this particular dragster. Um, once again, I'll reiterate, it's what we do. It's, there's hundreds of other ways to do it. And this is a system that we know uh, later systems these days change. They've got different components, um, which is a bit different to this. This is more old fashioned, but it is, it's been well proven. So I like to go with well proven things so it doesn't break. What we're looking at here, this is our fuel pump. This is driven straight off the front of the camshaft. Um, this is roughly uh, a 96 gallon US pump, um, about 365 litres for other people that understand the litres. On here, this is our main delivery in here, which goes up to our metering block here. On here also is when we shut the fuel off here after a run, it then it returns these back down into this manifold here, which is, is basically just circulates the fuel round and round and round. Also off of here, we've got uh, another fitting here, which gives us uh, pressure, so we know what pressures we're running. On this also here, we have, um, these are returns to go to uh, another part of the uh, system, which I'll show you a little bit later on. But essentially now we're looking at these dash 10 lines that go up to this metering block. The metering block is driven by, um, as you open the butterflies, you will see the block here moves with the scroll inside and that delivers fuel to um, the car when it needs it. So when you're doing a burnout, your butterflies will probably no more to open than that and you're doing about 6,000, 6,500 RPM, that's all you need for a burnout. And you shut it off to back up. So we, as I said, we've got these two dash 10 lines which go up through this metering block, which then delivers with this dash 12 line through to all the different orifices that we could put fuel into the engine. Um, because we've got such a big pump on it, which is not a big pump these days compared to some of the American teams and some of the other teams here. Um, I don't feel confident using that bigger pump. I don't, me personally, I, per, I don't think that you need it, but um, that's the way some people have gone. So when it comes in here, as you can see on here, this is by turning this it opens the blades of the injectors. Now inside of here, if we take these fuel lines off here, so you have two fuel lines in, coming in and one going out, just channels fuel, gives a better flow through into the injector with the two smaller lines going in. If you have a look in here from the back there, you will see when we're on idle, you will just see a small hole through there, um, which that returns fuel because obviously with the volume of fuel we put into it, it would flood the engine if you didn't deliver some back to the tank uh, on idle. So when you're just coming up to the line idling and whatever. This is then through these, it's returned through these two lines here with check valves on here to keep a certain amount into the engine. And so you can um, set your pressures as to how much fuel you want to keep in the engine. This then, on where, as soon as the throttle opens, it overcomes the pressure in these check valves and that returns back to the fuel tank. Okay, so we talked about when um, the, with the fuel system and we've got the metering block at the top and it comes down. Now obviously with all this fuel you can't put it all into the engine. So you can only uh, put about, um, we normally run about 52 to 53 gallons on the start line um, when you initial RPM. And to get more fuel into the motor um, as you go down the run, we go through this. So it's fed in here and fed in here. This is what we call a slide valve. This is a valve up here with an open slot in. And this, that's what allows, how big that open slot is, it determines how much fuel is returned to the tank. 
So what we've done is just over the years we've done, we do calculations with the area and we know how big a stop we need. We then, on a timer during the run, we close off this slot. So the slot goes up here and closes it off, which then allows, closes off the return to the tank. So that means it puts all the fuel into the engine. You then, this over here is what's called a BTK valve. It's a pressure, basically it's a pressure regulator. It just regulates the amount of pressure you've got in the fuel where you can adjust it. If you haven't got enough pressure, you will tend to, um, I think personally, you tend to drop cylinders far easier where this, uh, I prefer a higher pressure, more like a diesel so that it's a finer spray through the nozzles and it's a lot easier to burn. So with that as well, when the fuel comes in here and out of here and down and through to the return again. Right, we've come out the metering block here. We come down here. This joiner here, we've normally got a flow meter, which is a way of being uh, checked out. Gives us the rate of flow on our data logger that we need to know how much is going into the engine. We have one on the return as well, how much we're returning to the tank. And so that gives us a good idea on the tuning window. From here, it goes down into this block here, distribution block, which um, then puts out from there, it comes from here up through into the injector block here. This is, the, we have uh, 14 nozzles that go into three, five, 10 nozzles, sorry, that go in and put fuel through the blower. The only lubrication that the blower gets is fuel. And obviously if you've got so much air going in there, so much fuel, there's only room for one or the other. So it's a balancing act by keeping the, the blower and the, the tips of the Teflon cool and whether you put air into it or whether you put fuel into it. So we tend to run just enough fuel through it to keep the blower, the blower low, um, lubed up and not burn out the tips so it lasts more than one or two runs. Otherwise, you've got to restrip the blower every pass, which a lot of teams do these days because they want con that consistency. The way we run our cars over here, we don't need ultimate performance. Uh, we'll go into the details of how we run here, which is a bit different to everywhere else in the world. We run on a three round format over here, which, as I said, we will go into later on. From there, that's one there. We've also come down here, we've got eight nozzles go into the injectors here so you've got one in every down runner in the injector also off of this block here we've got another one that then comes into here and this is called in head injection and it is we've got two inject or two nozzle holders in every cylinder so we just try and put as much fuel into it as we can without it dropping cylinders too much fuel and that what too much fuel when it kills the spark and it drops cylinders creates everything because you get into a the amount of fuel going in here it gets into a hydraulic situation so quite often you'll see it burn a head gasket or it will blow cylinder heads off or it blows the blower off and that's where it's, it's trying to hydraulic it most of the time